Hi everyone, I'm EC with Card Smart TV. Um, today I'm going to address a couple things that um, I get phone calls about all the time and, and questions about the conversion kit and related to the cost and do I have to change the motor and all types of questions about that. And um, Hopefully I can answer some of these questions of why why you would use a um, conversion kit. Um, why, why do people do that? Why do they spend that kind of money on converting an old cart um, to a uh, solid state? And and it's, it's several, several things behind this. This all started several years ago when a younger guy got his dad's cart uh, hand it to him and it was like an 80s model um, mid 80s club car and he wanted to keep this keep his cart in particular uh, because it was his dad's and um, I understand that completely and so with that he wanted to be able to ride with his friends and stuff like that and keep up with them and he could not keep up with them with this old resistor type cart and with that said we worked together with uh, some other companies and some people into the electronics and stuff of the golf carts and came up with this particular kit where we can transform a older style cart into a modern solid state golf cart which is actually a lot of times the way to go uh, if you like that particular cart uh, or if it has some uh, sentimental um, issue or, or situation as far as the, like the one we did um, you can um, take this old cart and you can actually put 2023 technology in it and um, and run with the brand new ones you know I don't know if any, any of y'all has checked on the prices of uh, golf carts out there recently uh, especially here in 2023 um, you know, it is hard to find a decent golf cart for under five grand. You know, I mean, you, it, it's all kinds of, you, I see them on Facebook Marketplace all the time and all these um, trading posts and stuff, um, you know, but typically they're not really what you call a deal. Um, so, but the good news is you can find some of these older carts and convert them in with the new technology and have almost, well, have a brand new golf cart uh, as far as the way it runs and performs uh, with the solid state um, setup. Get rid of all this resistor stuff out of these old carts and swap them over. I know you've seen a couple of our videos where we have taken carts and taken the old stuff out and and put um, put the new technology in it um, and a lot of times you can find those carts cheap and um, and you know the battery cost is one of the most expensive things of course um, on fixing any electric cart up um, but what we got to remember and what I talked to a lot of people on the telephone about all the time is you got to understand back in the 80s and early 90s and stuff these carts at the time the golf cart companies uh easy go club car yamaha none of them they were only building these units for the game um and all they needed it to do was uh run 200 300 yards at a time and get off of it hit the ball ride another couple hundred yards and nowadays you know our they they finally picked up on that hey the people that that don't play golf a lot of people that don't play golf uh and love golf carts and they use them around the house and they use them on the farm and they use them for camping and going to the beach and stuff like that and so once they figured that out now of course everything changed with technology changes so much all the time anyway but uh that is the reason that you can um, now take one of these old carts that were designed to run a couple hundred yards at a time and take all that stuff out and put the new technology in and um, 
and this thing will be like a brand new cart and and yes it does i uh, do get some questions of you know the cost because you know typically you're going to spend two thousand twenty five hundred um to upgrade your cart um but look at the prices of the carts out there now i mean like i said um, prior you know it's it's hard to find a decent cart for five grand sometimes you might get lucky enough you know i've picked up carts in the past that needed batteries and the old resistor type carts you know for you know under 500 bucks and yes it still costs you know my first your first biggest expense is you're gonna drop a grand of course on the uh, batteries and then uh, if you upgrade uh, from 36 to 48 then of course you got to look at the cost of um, you will need a 48 volt charger and um, so you got to look, look at everything involved but the the better feeling of it is go go look and see how much some of these golf carts are going for now a, a brand new one you know and I, I'm seeing them at 12 and 13 thousand dollars for you know a regular golf cart nowadays and you can get a, a good deal on an older cart somewhere and upgrade it and you know even if it comes down to putting a back seat on it or a lift kit and stuff and you know and speaking of that i run into a lot of issues with uh here locally at our shop where um, the locals have got an old resistor cart and you know of course first thing they want to do is lift it up put big tires and wheels on it and stuff and then they come back and say it won't pull heels and it won't do this well you know that was something that i'm sure the easy go and club car and yamaha and all of them you know they have never <laughs> intended for these golf carts to be lifted up and put these big old tires and wheels on them and stuff and especially if you got an old resistor type cart it is uh really rough on um that that's a whole lot of tire and wheel to turn versus the small little standard golf cart tire and wheel um, so, you know, those were some of our first uh, clients to come in and said, hey, let's, I need some more power. I need more pulling power and stuff. And, and the cool thing about once you go to solid state, you know, the sky and the pocketbooks here is your limit. I mean, you can make these carts, you know, run 40, 50 miles an hour if you want to, if you put the right stuff on it. Um, but... Um, I'm hoping that answers a few questions on the on the conversion deal. You know, my other one is I have people call all the time and say, well, can I can I do everything and except for the motor? Well, in some cases you can uh, you can uh, put a controller on it and, um, you know, get rid of all your resistors and stuff like that. And however, you're not getting any advantage um you know if you don't change your motor because your motor is is going to stay the same no matter it, it's getting a different signal input uh to it by uh with the solid state with the controller versus the resistors um but it's not going to perform any better it's not going to pull any better it's not going to be any faster you know that's the reason that you know we highly recommend doing it all um you know like i said it's it's expensive uh, you know we're we're not you know not everybody walks around you know 2500 bucks in their pocket to um to throw at their golf cart uh but if you look at the overall big picture i think you will uh, you know depending on what the situation is you will um end up with a brand new golf cart no matter if it's an 88 model um as far as the technology what's inside it and what makes it go is going to be brand new and and with that i think it says a, a lot for you know you you got something that and another thing i can tell you from 30 years of messing with golf carts is it's probably the only motorized vehicle that that you can actually uh make money off of um or typically you won't lose money on it um you know if you get a lawnmower or if you get a special car and truck you know you're gonna lose money in time uh when the time comes for you to trade it or sell it um, but a golf cart, um, I see golf carts all the time when I started out here that I used to sell for 500 bucks, you know, that, that are still running, that come back and I'll pick at the customer and say, I'll give you money back. And they say, absolutely not, you know, because <laughs> you're talking about us selling, um, you know, uh, mid 90 models, um, you know, for 500 bucks, you know, then of course they 
fixed them up over time and stuff and it's just it's worth even way more money but anyway I hope this answers a few of your questions out there about the conversion and is it for me and you know and even for the people that are considering going to buy a golf cart and like I said if you see that cheap golf cart that somebody's got they just want to get rid of it needs batteries or or stuff like that you know it's it's probably worth you know looking into it uh, even if you get it and fix it up and flip it um you know there's, there's a lot of people that um that the golf cart market's pretty hot and it's hard to find good carts now and um and so hopefully this um you know feel free to call us anytime and you know you can send us pictures and stuff and i'll help you um uh, through the process any way I can anyway and because uh, I've tried to handle a lot of the tech calls throughout the day here um, I have Jason more or less Jason and uh, Logan do most of the repair work stuff here and um, and I do the editing and and stay on the phone <laughs> trying to help people out so anyway we really thank all you guys that watch our videos and uh, we want to be an informational site um, as far as content we're hoping that um you know and if you have any questions or technical problems or something going on with your golf cart you know call us up um if we make a video to help you uh get to it we'll if we got that particular cart here we will certainly do it for you uh but thank you all for um uh, watching and subscribing and liking the videos and um we try to answer any comments that uh that you guys put on the on the videos and um so with all that um i'm ec and i'll talk to you guys later thanks mm -hmm.